But right now, joining me in the studio, we always have guests swinging by. And joining us today, we have our friends from the Jackson City Library. So good morning, gentlemen. How are you? Good morning. So go ahead and pull those mics or have a seat or pull those mics as close as you can there. So uh, we get you get you through there. So uh, now I know who you are, but just in case people don't know who you are, tell us who you are at the at the library and exactly what your role is. So I'm Roger Donaldson, and I'm the library director of the Jackson City Library. All right. And I'm Ian Thorne, and I am the uh, youth librarian. Awesome. So you guys are uh, keeping busy. Summer is yep. officially kicked off. Kids are out of school, which means probably a lot of students coming to the library and hanging out and using the computers and and uh, other things and enjoying some of your activities. And that's why we got you here today to talk about some of the great things that are happening. So the theme this summer, Oceans of Possibility. And uh, Ian, I see you're ready to go. You got your uh, Hawaiian shirt on there. And uh, oh, yeah. now I, I know you, you, wear, you wear Hawaiian shirts a lot of times, so you kind of kind of like those kind of clothes. But uh, so tell us a little bit about what's the theme and why you chose it. Well, the Oceans of Possibilities theme is actually a national theme. Okay. Um, they, uh, every year there's a committee they come up with themes and we try to adhere to it sort of but mm-hmm. but we also kind of put our own swing <laughs> yeah absolutely. our own local swing on our yep. programming and um so this year we have a nice lineup um starting in june we actually started june last week 8th. With a, with yeah. a bike rodeo we did a bike rodeo it was really cool the uh, state highway patrol came and they actually took a spin through it on a, on a several bikes. So, <laughs> That's awesome. So the kids really enjoyed that. Um, Ian can tell us about the rest of the June things. Well, tomorrow, uh, June 15th at 2 p.m., we're going to have the National Humane Education Society here. Um, Roger, can you tell them exactly what that's going to entail because i know that we're going to have therapy dogs uh there there for will be dogs um it is a like the title says it's the national humane educational society i'm not really sure how in depth they go this is the first year that we've had them <laughs> right but i do believe it has dog safety and what okay. to do like when you approach a dog that's walking next to you and that sort of thing okay. so, so it'll be a it'll be a good educational thing for the kids and uh, there will be live dogs so that's always a, always a good, good always good so. Um, and then on the 22nd, so we're going to move locations just a little bit. Yeah, down to the Lillian Jones Museum. So not super far. That's, a, like you said, the 22nd. That's at 4 p.m. We're going to have the Barker Farms Petting Zoo. Um, so I think they're going to have all sorts of crazy animals. I've heard rumors of camel. Oh, wow. Yeah, the camel. Daniel the camel is always the biggest draw. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know his name. That's yeah. kind of interesting. How did you not know Daniel? Everybody knows yeah, Daniel. Everybody knows Daniel the camel. Actually, I only know Daniel because my daughters go to this. They, they look forward to to the to the petting zoo every summer, so uh, they always the the petting zoo and and uh, now I don't see them on there this year, but you guys have had snakes in the past. Yeah. They love oh. it when the reptiles come, yeah. Yeah. which I think is hysterical because my girls aren't scared of snakes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but <laughs> so it is what you know. But so anyway, so all right, and then uh, so June 29th, yeah. first responders, two p.m. Uh, we'll have the first responders. The idea is that uh, it will have them there for kids to meet at the library. So. Uh, if there does ever happen to be an emergency in their life, uh, you know, these guys can look sort of intimidating at times. And uh, the idea is to introduce them to the children. So if they do have an emergency, it's not the first time they're meeting them. Got it. Yep. And then uh, that, that continues into July. So yeah, July 6th at 2, we have 4-H with Aaron Daly. Uh, most people know Aaron Daly in mm-hmm. the area. Yep. yep. She's been, a 4, been active in 4-H for years. Um, she's going to bring some people with her, and they're going to do different crafts and activities for awesome. the kids. And, of course, gearing up because not long after that will be the Jackson County Fair, so she'll be talking a little bit about And 4-H yep. is a great program to get involved with, so yep, I definitely sure encourage people to come out and uh, learn about 4-H and be a part of that program as well. 13th is uh, Mark Wood, the Mark Wood Fun Show. Yep. he. Actually, Which of his shows is he bringing? Well, he, do we know yet? He does a – he actually caters to libraries, okay. so he'll be having some sort of a Ocean of Possibilities theme. Okay. I've seen some pictures, and he's dressed as a cap, like a sea captain. So, <laughs> so at either rate, I'm sure it'll be fun. The kids always love him. And then another bit of a road trip coming up on the 20th of July? Yeah. On July 20th, we'll be at the Tri-City Theater. Uh, we'll be having – a superhero movie paired with a superhero. Awesome. We haven't really nailed down. It'll be Batman or um, Spider-Man. Okay. The superhero. We haven't really nailed down who's coming, but there'll be photo opportunities and free movie, popcorn, all that good stuff. And then on the 27th? Is a DJ dance party. Oh, that'll be fun. That's just a, really for the kids just to blow off some steam. <laughs> uh, DJ will be there. It's just kind of a 
Just and will that be, crazy in, will that be indoors time. or outdoors? It is you? indoors okay. in the pottery room. So, okay. so, <laughs> so if you're planning on doing any actual library business on the 27th, you, you might want to stay away <laughs> from that hour to two hour time period. Don't yeah. come in now. Just, yeah. So, yeah, so, and then wrapping it up. Now, this is one that everybody looks forward to. And I, I think Porterhouse was, I thought he was going to jump in here. August 3rd, two, two sections, three o'clock and five o'clock, Ohio Canaan. Now tell us what in the world is, is that? Uh, that is a, a company or, or like a business that raises wolves um, and they're going to be bringing them into the library for the kids to meet. So uh, we do this a lot, um, but it, it, I, I always like to think of it as kind of like the, the reptile thing, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Uh, but with yeah. mammals. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, you get to see some wolves of all shapes and sizes. Um, they've got some small ones and some big ones and uh, it, it's going to be pretty cool. It's always, you know, that sort of thing always... Uh, Interest pretty much probably everyone. good. You're having that one after you have the safety, the animal yeah. safety. <laughs> exactly. animal safety yeah. like we'll safety. bring that up. Yeah. Well, guys, thanks for what you're doing. I appreciate what the library has. And again, the best part about it is it's all free. I mean, yep. uh, you know, and then of course, you know, you can get all your resources at the library website, Jackson City Library. Dot org. I always get, dot org. Yeah. I get, I always get mixed up as a dot com or dot org, uh, but uh, dot org. You can you can log on and find out all this information. And again, not only people think library and books, but these are the programming, the activities you guys have to kind of enhance uh, that experience for kids and adults. Now also, and you don't have the information on this with you today, but also you guys are having some of your, your preschool story times and, yeah. and stuff like that still going on throughout the summer as well. Yeah, at 11 o'clock on Wednesdays and Thursdays. I believe Wednesday is the preschool age group and then Thursdays is toddler. But there's really no, no hard... Um, you yeah, know, yeah, number there, right, just yeah. wherever your kid kind of fits okay. in. So, awesome. Yep, you're welcome to join. Awesome. Well, thanks for joining us, guys. I know you're heading over to Main Street TV next and uh, going to be hanging out with the crew there, but appreciate what you're doing. Uh, thanks for providing a great library and a great resource to our community. We really appreciate you guys. Yeah, thanks for having us. All okay. right, that's our crew from the Jackson City Library. Don't forget, Oceans of Possibilities happening all summer long at the Jackson City Library. Activities each and every week in the afternoons and your chance to uh, to have fun. Uh, as a family through the Jackson City Library. So don't miss out on lots more coming up on Mix 96 FM. We got to do some birthdays.